Welcome back to Mason Talks. So today I wanted to talk some more about Odell Beckham Jr. Basically, as quickly as the OBJ to Cleveland rumors emerged, they died back down and disappeared for basically all of today. There's starting to be some more rumors circling right now. I don't know exactly why. I think it's because he's posting on Instagram and Browns players are commenting, whatever. It's all rumors. And, uh, you know, it, 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 people, I think, are starting to cool off on the whole OBJ to Cleveland thing. I think people are starting to trend more towards the it's not going to happen. Uh, th- th- there was a brief moment yesterday when a lot of people were like, oh, something's coming. Something's about to happen. It wasn't even just the Cleveland people. Like There were national people who were like, John Dorsey's doing something. And uh, then it all started to die down. And we haven't heard much about Odell Beckham Jr. since then. But... So here's the thing. Here's how I feel about it. People are going to come out and say it's definitely happening. And people are going to come out and say, no chance. It's not happening. He's not coming to Cleveland. Nobody, and I stress, nobody has any idea what John Dorsey is doing. The players probably don't know. The media definitely doesn't know. The fans definitely don't know. Nobody knows what John Dorsey is going to do right now. It's all speculation. There can be rumors. There can be reports. But all we know is what John Dorsey has told us. And one thing that he has told us is that he's interested in Odell Beckham Jr. He said that at the Combine. He said that he would be interested in having OBJ on the Browns, which makes sense because he's one of the best receivers in the National Football League. Uh, I think it's all, I mean, it's all all speculation right now. Nobody knows what's going to happen. Buckle up. That's how it's going to be. I'm not going to rule out Odell Beckham Jr. I'm still confident that if John Dorsey wants Odell Beckham, that he's going to try his hardest to get him here. I still think there's a good chance that Odell Beckham could end up a Cleveland Brown. I still think it definitely could happen. And for the media, there were people who were coming out in the morning saying, oh, John Dorsey hasn't, they haven't even talked about an Odell Beckham trade. Now, I don't know if they made any progress on an Odell Beckham trade, but I can almost guarantee you that John Dorsey has at least talked to Dave Gettleman about a trade. You cannot tell me that John Dorsey and Dave Gettleman were sitting in the stands at the Combine together in that picture that was taken that kind of spread around. You can't tell me that John Dorsey, Dave Gettleman, sat together at the Combine for however long they were together, whether it was 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, who knows how long they were talking. You can't tell me that Odell Beckham Jr.'s name did not come up in that conversation. The Cleveland Browns have, I can almost guarantee they have at least talked about Odell Beckham Jr. in a possible trade. Did they make any progress? Who knows? Uh, But they've talked to him about it. And, you know, to be honest, like, so the, the rumored trade, the rumored offer was Kevin Zeitler, Emmanuel Agba, a third player who nobody wanted to name and like a second round pick. And there might've been another pick. Now that offer underwhelming, absolutely underwhelming. If I was the giants, I would have said no, but like Dorsey wasn't going to come out with his best offer first. You got to kind of lowball him. See, see like you don't, you don't want to come out and be like, yeah, we'll give you two ones. No, that's not how trade negotiation works. You got to negotiate like, John Dorsey would have been an idiot to come out and say two firsts and we'll give you Callaway. Like you don't come out with your best offer first. You try to, you try to negotiate. You try to get, you try to get yourself a good deal. You don't want to like, yeah, getting Odell Beckham for anything would be good because he's one of the best receivers in the league. But if you can keep one of your first round picks, that would be nice. (laughs) 
Uh, I love Odell, and I would love to have Odell Beckham on the Browns. I think he's a game-changing receiver. And I think that if you get Odell Beckham, pair him up with Baker, Nick Chubb, the whole crew, that can be one of the best offenses in the league. That can be right up there with the Chiefs and the Rams. But it would be a little concerning to not have a first-round pick for the next two years. <laughs> so, if I mean, John Dorsey, I think it's smart by not immediately throwing out two first round picks. I think you got to you got to try to keep one of those picks. Uh but so basically what I'm trying to say is nobody <laughs> has any clue what's going on. We the fact that they're not talking about it, that makes me feel like something big is going to happen even more. Nobody knew that the that the that the Jarvis Landry, Taylor and Demarius Randall trades were coming last year. Nobody saw that coming. Maybe John Dorsey, you know, people are saying that the people are saying there's 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 no there's no progress being made in the trade talks. Maybe that's just what John Dorsey's leaking out there. Maybe like maybe maybe John Dorsey's sending all these leaks out so we don't expect it, just like we didn't expect any of the trades from last year. Maybe John Dorsey is trying to stir up Odell Beckham rumors so he can go out behind everybody's backs and use all the leverage he can get and try to get another big player. Who knows? Who knows what John Dorsey is doing? Uh, but I'm just saying that we should not give up on Odell Beckham Jr. coming to the Browns. I still think there is a good chance that he could end up in the brown and orange. I think there's a good chance he could end up playing in Cleveland. Uh, I wouldn't rule out anything. I, I don't, I mean, I know that some people are like, oh, it was all just rumors. There was never any facts to it. It was all just rumors spread by the players and the media. That could be true. <laughs> like, honestly, nobody knows. No, there was no like solid reports. We, we knew that John Dorsey was interested in Odell Beckham, but that was the most that we knew. But if you're a Browns fan and if you're like really wanting Odell Beckham Jr. to be traded to the Browns, I would just say don't give up on those hopes and dreams. I still think there's a good chance he could end up playing for the Browns. But uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, that's the Odell Beckham Jr. update of the day. <laughs> there wasn't there wasn't too much. Uh, basically just people are saying, oh, there's nothing happening. John Dorsey's not doing anything. I just think that no one knows and we won't know until something happens. I think that's how John Dorsey works. That's what he did. That's what he did last year. And, uh, we'll just have to wait and see. But, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. Do you still think Odell Beckham Jr. will end up on the Cleveland Browns? Cause I still think there's a good chance he will. Thanks for listening to the Mason Talk Sports Show and I will see you. In my next episode, goodbye.